I always wanted to be a spaceship. Same here, Sanusuke. Living my dream. Welcome back to FTL, everybody. Trying to get our final Type A victory here. We've managed with all the other ships, but yet to get one for the Slug Cruiser. So, let's try it out. Anti-bio beam with the dual lasers. A pretty strong set of starting gear here. Along with the upgraded doors. Only a couple of crew members, which is going to be a, uh, a complication. See if maybe we can find some more folks early on on this one. Been loving the return to, F to uh, FTL. I'm glad folks are still into it. Investigate the battlefield. A slug ship makes its arrival. Surprised to see anyone remaining and then jumps away without a word. Huh. Okay. Uneventful start here. Gonna be trying to go for these crew kills, of course, with the dual lasers and the anti-bio beam. Slug does not... Oh, they don't have any sensors aboard the ship yet, though. Interesting. We know we got... Oh, okay. So I guess that's what we're gonna be relying on primarily is the fact that these guys can actually see the uh, the life forms in the vessel without actually having sensors for it. The dual lasers by themselves are a uh, shockingly competent offensive option. We're going to want to try to take those shields down completely before we fire the anti-bio beam, of course, and then obviously any repairs that we're going to have to do are going to be difficult to make happen. Only two crew members aboard, but hopefully it'll work out. We're going to try this anti-bio beam this time. Let's see what we can do with this. As far as I remember, this is a very long laser, yes. Yeah, so this should be uh, pretty doable here. I'm guessing that guy's pretty low already. Yeah, this is... Uh, Starting to see why this is such a tough sell. Not the greatest condition early on in this one. And any misses from the dual laser are obviously going to be pretty impactful too. Go ahead and line that up one more time. I'm guessing this guy is going to try to bounce in onto the shields again to get those repairs done. Might have to wait on the bio beam again here before we go for the kills, but eh, yeah, I'm kind of running out of time. Oh, I think that guy died actually. Okay, so that's... So if I can get this guy up here, I wonder if this beam is going to be long enough to reach the pilot. It'll at least get him, so I guess we'll just focus on that. There we go. Okay, that's two of their crew down. It's the O2 being repaired. Their weapon's obviously still online here. We're going to have this guy going down for the shields now. Okay, so not going too bad. Go ahead and get this guy back to his position after the O2's online. Oh, never mind. Fix that up. All right, with the dual lasers here. Oh, they've got a clone bay. I see. Okay, yeah, that's... Mmm, this is a bad start. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to be able to get a crew kill here. I think we might just have to switch to a breach bomb or something. Although, I guess we could breach the... Uh... Could breach the clone bay here as well. Maybe that would work out okay. This is a bad starting ship for us for the slug. <laughs> This isn't great. Maybe I should just go ahead and put some power in the dual lasers here and maybe just get the ship kill. Save myself some trouble because we've already taken a heap in helping of damage here already. Let's get the dual lasers auto-firing on the shields for a moment. Breach bombs. Also possible to get the kill with those, of course. Looks like they've got a heavy priority on fixing the clone bay now, which makes sense. All right, that's some big damage there. The shields are offline now. We can keep this offline and then switch back to the anti-bio beam. Maybe this will work out now. Looks like we got a fire on board here as well, unfortunately. Let's see if we can find a way to get that fixed. Got to repair the doors, too. Where's this fire going to be? Let's just put out everything over on this end for now. Hopefully it'll solve the problem. I'm assuming that's where we're going to find it. Clone base still offline. We might have a chance here. Shield that last shot there as well. All three members are in the same room. It looks like he's going back to the pilot, though, unfortunately. Ah, uh, man. I mean, we've got the dual lasers ready if we want to take that route, but I'm really hoping we can sneak in a crew kill here. They're really making it difficult. They're just bouncing all around the damn ship. One left. Do I want to try to hang on to this? How badly do I want this? I've, I've committed pretty hard already to the idea of killing this crew. I think I'm sticking with it. We're going to make it happen, damn it. We're going to take half of our ship's HP and damage. But I'm getting this crew kill. There we go. Clone Bay's offline. He's done it. Thank God. Quickly try to rescue the crew. Yes. 
Steli. The majority did not survive, but all we needed was one. Let's go. Worth it? I'm going to say that the crew kill is what caused that to happen and was therefore worth the tremendous investment to begin with. All right, then. Pick me. Still open if you want to be chosen here. I'm a brand new member of the squad. Seal off all those doors. Let's put you on weapons. That's going to be a very helpful upgrade early on here. Let's go ahead and heal these guys while I'm waiting as well. I want to use these breach bombs a little more often, actually. Let's let's look at these as opposed to the dual lasers as a uh, starting option. Although what we actually could do instead is power up weapons one more time, which we should definitely do as soon as we can here. And uh, get to using all three of them at once. That ought to be pretty helpful. Hmm. Hail the ship. Broadcasting a simple message claiming to have equipment for sale. Sir, we can dock, but I sense we better plan on making a purchase, says our slug friend. A human in an exquisite suit, welcome to my ship. We specialize in drones of all kinds. Anti-personnel drone actually could help us out quite a bit here. Maybe I want to go drones this time around. I don't have a lot of parts for it, obviously. But we know if we don't buy anything here, we're going to be in trouble, so... Yeah, we'll pick that up. That might actually be worth more than 25 to sell as well. That might have just been a profit eventually one can hope jay dorian's gonna be our new crew member here welcome to the team we'll be on weapons today and cavoli with the near three years on the pile welcome back thank you cavoli for the 35 months a few bear hugs for them please all right so we're gonna want to breach the engines here i suppose i gotta swap off anti-bio for the dual lasers for now to take their shields out until i can start crew killing no clone bay or med bay to speak of on their end so that helps us out a lot once the breach fires that should delay the ftl bounce enough to where we can maybe go back to anti-bio beam dual laser is going to auto fire on the shields for now to try to keep those down Oh, the FTL's still charging shit. Okay. Uh, might have to just go back to Breach for a little while then. I don't want to lose this ship. Shot their drone out of the sky there too. That's not really going to help us too much, unfortunately. Breach is definitely going to deal some damage to them, and hopefully we can get the actual Breach effect going as well. They're still charging the damn FTL, really. That sucks. Now it's delayed because they got to go repair those shields, but not for very long, unfortunately. There we go. All right. I don't know if I got the Breach that time either, unfortunately. Get back to the anti-bio beam here, maybe be able to do something. The shields are holding up well enough for now. Gotta keep auto-firing on the shields here. Anti-bio beam nearly ready to go. I might be able to hit all three with these, or with this one, depending on where they're positioned. Not looking like it this time, though, so maybe we can kill this guy that's going back to the pilot. Ah, they're very weak. Okay, let's see. Six damage left to do. The dual lasers are gonna... Let's go ahead and fire those into there now, actually, considering the shields are still offline. We can maybe get some more damage done to that guy. Uh, let's have our slug come up here to do the repairs on the piloting. Dual lasers back to the shield focus here, and then maybe one more anti-bio beam will do it. They're going to be delayed until they can get the pilot back in there, of course, but it's just a matter of whether or not, whether or not we're going to be able to get the crew kill again here. There it is. Nice. Ooh, Mark II Ion Blast. That's fun. Takes three power, unfortunately, but this is a very quick way to bring the uh, to bring the shields down. In fact, this is probably going to be a little more effective than the Breach Dual Lasers. And we could very easily have all four of these online. That wouldn't be uh, too difficult to make happen. I think I'll probably look forward to doing that at some point. My family names our dogs after booze. Any pet naming traditions y'all have? Well, we did, of course, have our Chunk, Heifer, and Ch Chubs for a little while here in the Taffy household. That was a lot of fun. Oh, I hate this fight. Oh, I truly hate this fight. This is absolutely not what we want to see right now. Should probably go ahead and put our guy back in the engines too for the small chance of dodging these missiles or just repair the weapons. Yeah, that's fine too. Oh boy, this is going to be real bad. Only two crew members and no healing on their end this time around, but... We're already so low, I'm starting to really worry about this kind of situation here. If I can breach the weapons, we'll, sh we'll probably be okay, but it's going to take some more effort after that to make anything decent happen here. 
All right, that's offline. We can breach the weapons now. That's still the missile online, though. Son of a bitch. All right, let's see here. I think I'm just going to dual lasers that weapons bay. Get one more breach bomb in there. We know we've got a breach on our ship, but thankfully we've got the slug repair gel to fix that by or on its own. Breach the shields now, and then maybe we can swap over to the bio beam for a bit. I took the breach off before it exploded. Did it still spend the bomb? That's the worst. <laughs> Why is that a thing? Why is that a thing? I hate that that's a thing. That makes me very upset. God damn it. All right, well, let's keep the bio beam on for now, I guess. Let's auto fire on the shields here. Weapons are still fully offline, at least. Uh, that mantis is going to take a long ass time to get those back online as well. Sunk cost again. I got to try to get this kill, or crew kill anyway. Let's take the dual lasers off for a little bit. I don't think the bio beam's gonna be enough damage yet, but I'm gonna try it. See how that goes. Okay, they've gotta be pretty damn weak now. Let's go for one more dual laser in there. Then just the Mantis should be left. Nice, he's gonna be forced to go in on the shield repair. That means the weapons are permanently offline. That's mission accomplished, I believe. God, it's been a slow start here with these guys, but we are finding ways to get the crew kills at least. Six fuel out of that too, that's pretty nice. I'll take it. My cats are named Void and Vortex, so if we get another cat, we'll probably need to aim for another V name, or else what, what's the point? Yeah, not wrong. Our Boston Terrier is Oliver for Green Arrow, and our pug came with a name Fina. Realized it was a superhero, so we didn't change it. Superhero names are very fun. I like that a lot. Sorry about your ship. Well, I guess there's not anybody to be sad for anymore. All right, let's see here. I feel like we're going to need some kind of assistance. Let's let's go ahead and power this on now. Take the extra bar into the breach so we don't have to take anything offline for a bit. I'm trying not to get too discouraged by such a slow start, given how things have panned out in the previous two runs. We know that even with a slow start, we can potentially get something going here, but it is very difficult early on right now. Shut off the signal emitter. We just keep finding a whole bunch of empty nodes out here, too, which is definitely not helping us out. We had Oki and Doki. That's extremely adorable. I like that a lot. Free scrap out of the asteroid field, at least. I'll take that. Boy, yeah, slow going early on here. And obviously an automated ship is definitely not what we're looking forward to seeing here. Let's see if I can just take their weapons offline before they cause too many issues. I'm not having shield certainly helps us out. There they go. All right, no sweat. Easy dub. Thank goodness. Hey, Pawn. That Rockman run was begging to be reset for like the first three sectors. Yeah, no kidding. That is exactly why I'm holding out hope here. I'm making banana bread. Are you making enough for the pile? Super Mona Man. Bear hugs and bear gifts, please. Thank you very much for the five bomb to start us off here. Come in, everybody. Appreciate that. Show them the love for the pile, please. We're Federation terraforming team C12 and are in need of assistance. Okay. We need to scan this planet for life before we begin terraforming, but our sensors can't get the necessary power to scan through the atmosphere. I don't have any sensors on my ship, so I doubt I'm going to be helpful here, but I'll try. Yeah, we don't have anything, sorry. Not well equipped enough for that. You'd think the slugs might be able to uh, help us out there, but apparently not. Hey, another drone. Okay. Well, that's good at least. It's not a very good drone, but it is scrap. I'll take that. Yeah, let's go engine control. We got a lot of friendly sectors at the end of this one, which is really nice. I can't remember the last time I saw a map that didn't have any nebulas. It's kind of weird. Ooh, look at this little cluster up here. We can connect up there as well. I think I'm going to go that way. It looks like fun. Bounce between all these guys. We're going to have to go up top first, though. Maybe I can find a store up here, too. That'd be nice. Ooh, six fuel for 12 scrap. That's a pretty good deal. Let's make that trade. I'm going to be regretting not doing that later, I'm sure, if I passed up on that one. Booby trap the cash, too. Absolutely. Yes, sir. It's going to give us a lot more time to explore the region with our extra fuel. Investigate the battlefield. 
nothing. Yet again, another empty node. Wow, went through these four pretty damn quick, huh? Okay, free stuff, too, from the Mantis fleets. Thank you very much, and that's us out of there. My dog is named Navi, so I can tell her, hey, listen, that's very good. I like that. Some more fuel to go to the quest marker here. There is a store there. If we go bing, bang, boom, head down this way. We're going to have to go around, I think, actually. I think we'll head up this way and go all the way around over to the exit here. I think that makes the most sense. Which means I should probably not take this note, but I'm going to do it anyway. Because I'm a big, dumb doofus with a tiny brain. The NG are waiting you at the beacon. They explain a computer virus is wanted for hostile acts against the NG. It's aboard your vessel. They insist they must destroy your ship to prevent the virus from escaping. Let us try to purge the system code. Wiping your engine core and shields pro proves useless. Eventually you trap the virus in the weapon system to purge it, but before you do, the NG grow restless and attack. Okay, I have no shields. And they got beams. That sucks. We're going to breach that. They've got a med bay here as well, so we're going to have to breach that after we breach their weapon system. Thankfully, their ion pulse is not really going to matter here. Taking the beam offline is going to be highest priority, though, so we're going to have to breach that again. We have very few bombs now, unfortunately, as well. Uh, my doors are not working? My doors have been EMP'd. Okay, so we're going to have to wait on that, I guess. There we go. Put the fire out in the shields real quick here. Breaching the weapons again. Very nice. The dual lasers will fire on the shields there. We get a little bit of anti-bio beam damage done. There's one dead boy. Yeah, if we don't have to worry about the med bay, that's going to save us a lot of time, obviously. But we're going to have to breach the weapons one more time, unfortunately. Because that beam's going to hurt if we don't. Yeah, we're very quickly running out of bombs, though. Oh, my God. How the... Three breach bombs is not enough to take out this beam. I I disagree. I disagree, actually, FTL. We're going to need a ruling on that from an impartial perspective. Because that's kind of fucked, brother. All right, repairing the shields isn't really going to do much here. We know we've already lost that system. This sucks. Oh, this sucks. This sucks again. Everything sucks again. I don't like that. I think I'm gonna die. I think I'm fucked. Gotta get the breach back online. There we go. Thank Christ. Okay, now we can finally breach this guy. Keep the dual lasers on the weapons for now. I'm gonna get back into the piloting. Not really sure why. Med Bay's offline now and has the breach. We can anti-bio real quickly through here. That guy's got to be real weak. Just got to keep that beam offline. Although it's arguably worthwhile to breach bomb the Med Bay again. Yeah, let's... Well, hold off for now. We're going to take him out of weapons with this shot. I assume. Oh my god, the drone blocked it. Oh, I'm getting... Aggravated with this situation. I'm just gonna breach these weapons again. Fuck it. I don't wanna let that. I don't wanna let that beam ruin my day here. Swap the dual lasers over to the med bay. Anti bios online. They got another goddamn beam off. That's this. And then maybe he's dead already. There we go. Holy cow. You detect the virus has abandoned your ship and disappeared somewhere within the systems of the NG vessel. It will likely infect whatever NG ship passes next, but your mission is too vital to risk reinfection by stopping it. Oh my god. This sucks. This is, uh... This is me really pushing the limits of how, how much early struggle I'm willing to tolerate. We got a sh uh, shop that we're going to in a second, thank goodness, but this is, uh... This is looking extremely grim. Bare optimal times two. Yeah. This doesn't feel very good. Well, let's see if maybe the shop can bail us out here. Honestly, I don't even know what I'm looking for right now. There's not a lot they can do that would make me feel too much more optimistic given the amount of scrap we've got. Defense two. Now that's something. Ah, oh, yeah, 
that's personnel. It's going to be s less scrap than I had, unfortunately. Ion Blast Mark II, I know, is definitely one of the best weapons in the game. Is it maybe time... What if we... We have four power in this already. If we were to just Ion Blast dual lasers for a little while, abandon the crew kills for a bit, that might be the way to go. We know we need to spend a lot of scrap on repairs. This will give us a free defense drone Mark I as well, which is certainly going to help against any missile problems. Hmm. Yeah, normally that event gives you a, uh, a new crew member named Virus that is maxed in all stats. But yeah, I guess you have to have an NG to start off with that. Unlucky. I am very unsure about how to proceed here. I do think I'm going to do this. I'm going to keep this available in case of border problems. We only have five drone parts is the big problem here as well. I think I get rid of the anti-drone. Go back up to green. No need for fuel. Yeah, this still doesn't feel fantastic, but I guess it'll have to do for now. I gotta hit that quest as soon as we can, so. I think if we go one, two, three, four, and then go to the exit, we should be okay. One, two, I'm trying to visualize how far the reach is gonna be. It's gonna be a lot safer if I go this way, so let's just do that. Oh. Huh. Yeah, all right. Explosive Replicator, I believe, has a chance to not use a missile, so kind of wish I still had the breach here. That's a good deal, though. I mean, I'm not opposed to taking a bribe if it's a good bribe, you know? I do think I actually might be able to afford one more node before we get to the exit, but uh, let's just let's keep playing it safe. Let's not take too many gambles while we're in this kind of condition. Try to dislodge the ship by shooting at the rocks. Two damage to your hull, but 12 scrap. I'll take it. Not a terrible trade. I think there might be a breach somewhere. I'm gonna look around and make sure everything's okay. Get the doors repaired, too. Anything broken? No? Okay, we're good. Oh, God damn it! Go fix them. At least the ion will power up, power level your gunner. That's a good point, actually, yeah. There's a nice side effect there. Alright, hopefully this will pay off. Five whole points repaired, okay. And a shop again with a bean two. Oh my god, pre-igniter. Oh, if only. Whole laser two as well. Damn, dude. This is a good shop. Wish I had some scrap. How's it going? Hey, how's it going? Hmm. Well, could probably sell the explosive replicator at this point. I don't think we're going to get a lot of value out of that besides the scrap. We sell these for 60? 77. If I sold everything, I could afford the pre-igniter. That seems so stupid. <laughs> but I'm going to do it because I'm an idiot. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm a dumb boy with a tiny brain. And I just follow that tiny brain wherever it wants to go. Okay, great. We're pre-ignited. I'm very glad I chose the route I did, too. It looks like this is the only way to be safe. All right. Here we go, then. Sell drone parts. You know what? Feel pretty dumb for buying drone control now, but I'm going to do that. Get a little extra scrap. Sounds good. Off to NG. See if I can find one of them crew members. Oh, wait. Zoltan would have been way better. I didn't think about that. Oh, well. Distress beacon out of the gate. Operation Effort We Bail. Effort We Ball. There's a go. Yeah. That's more like it. Smoldering NG Research Station. Board it. Ooh. Save the NG. 
This runs toast. This runs fucking toast. Oh, thank God. Okay, we didn't lose the critical third crew member, but we did lose uh, someone that was at least a little leveled up in piloting. Sorry, Candian. That's unfortunate. That is a pick me, though. As, <laughs> as chat's like, oh, no, too bad. Pick me, pick me, pick me. Poor thing. I'm so sorry. Give me a spot. Cerulean Crane. Welcome in. Ah, that's definitely not what we wanted to see, but hey, let's try it again. <laughs> they ain't getting any deader. Yeah, exactly. Search for the ship. Five damage to the hole. You gotta pull out. God damn it. Boy, this is a struggle. Not loving this one so far. Keep going. You never know. You never know what could happen. You got a pre-igniter after all. That's a good... It's a good foundation. Uh, fuel for drones? I don't think so. Sorry. Can't really take advantage of that right now. Oh, man. Okay, come on. Give us a fight, for God's sake. We need something to do right now. Okay, with the ion firing, we got the crew on board here as well. We're going to have to auto-fire the lasers on the shields, I suspect. For now, anyway. Got a human to help out with the fight down here. Dr. Torch. Hey, may not be in the crew anymore, but welcome to the pile, at least. Thank you, Torch, for yet another gifty today. Appreciate it. I'm going to kill the mantis, at least. Oh, boy. Yeah, this, uh, this set of weaponry is starting to feel a little uninspired as well. All right, that's their shields down at least a level here. Go ahead and choke them out of the doors real quick. See if I can keep their lasers offline as well as I can here. There we go, nice. We have a clone base, so sadly the crew kill's not looking likely. Oh, what am I doing? Let's see. Uh, yeah, I keep auto-firing there. I'm gonna do well enough. Oh, he is low in there. Hang on, let's get him some help. I have to power on the med bay real fast. Yeah, it's looking, looking likely. There he goes. All right, that's fine. Stay there for a minute. Man, that ion blast is doing work. I'm pretty pleased with that, actually. I was looking for evidence that we have maybe made the right choice. Oh, I gotta remember to get this guy on the weapons too, right? Yeah, he's he's not on precious experience right now. We only got to rank one weapons already, which is obviously just gonna make the ion blast even better. Alright, another 28 scrap. I say we should probably go ahead and get to level two shields here. I know we're going to have to take out the O2 if I want that, but at least get us prepped for it. Intruder on deck. Teleport signal. Ah, right, yes. Um, Let's side with the fugitive. We need more crew members. Hey, Stick. That's a pick me again. Getting ready to go. Let's go ahead and put him on the shields, I suppose. Enough for me. Oh, come on, buddy. You can find a way around. Oh, I need to I need to pre-ignite too, or I need to remember I've got the pre-ignite. Ion is getting intercepted by the defense drone. That's no fun. Let's see if I can take those offline. That's gonna be rough. Hmm. Let's go ahead and power up our shields. Get this guy down there to make it a little better for us. We should be protected against their weaponry at least. It's just this is going to be uh, borderline impossible for us to win. We're going to have to get a very lucky sequence in our firing. Cyclohexawan. Thank you very much for the 14 months. Welcome back in. Some more bear hugs for him, please. Thank you for the resub. Get those shields up. Make sure our O2 is at least just a suitable level. I suppose if I fire them all at once, we've got a decent shot of getting through there, but until we take that defense drone offline, we're going to be in trouble. I'm not really sure how to even handle this at this point, honestly. 
Seems like a fight I, not, I might not be uh, well equipped enough to win. This drone too really carries a lot of weight this early on in a run. All right, we've got the shields down again at least. Maybe if I ion the drones instead now. Let's just fire everything at that and see what happens. If I, if I get the ion in there, then it basically does the job for us. Ah, oh, we got two levels of shield down right now. That sucks. Hmm. Yeah, this is uh, this is borderline impossible. That defense drone too is making this something I should probably jump away from. Yep. Sorry. Bye bye. Thanks for the crew member. Fuck. <laughs> I hate this run so far. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. This this has sucked hard the whole time. The whole time this has done a lot of hard sucking. Two missiles with the overshield. If I were playing offline, I would have reset. Cause I don't know if you heard me the first time. This blows and sucks. Simultaneously, the quote Bart Simpson, I didn't think it was physically possible. But sure enough, they found a way. These shields aren't really going to matter, so I guess I'll just go ahead and power these guys up. I don't know why I'm not firing my weapons either. Yeah, I, God, I, I, I kind of abandoned the prospect of winning this fight immediately upon seeing it. Which explains my refute. I just fuck this shit. Fuck. Absolutely fuck this shit. I'm sorry. I don't like doing it, but take two of these, FTL. Redo. Redo. Fresh pick me. That was a bunch of bullshit. Okay. We're back. Oh God, that was that was not <laughs> what I wanted to start my day with. FTL stands for fuck this LMAO, a hundred percent, without a doubt. Good God. Hey, how's it going? Not great, but welcome to the team. Uh, a renewal. Welcome back. Maybe our captain this time around. Sporta flop. Our second slug here. Come on in. Thank you, Sanusuke, for your sacrifice, as well as your resubscription. Some bear hugs, please. Welcome back in. All aboard. Oh, it's still the Sanusuke. I don't think I can change that without being in the hangar. All right, well, so much for that then. Caveman Craig, you'll have to be our first new crew member. Just remind me if I forget. Okay. Okay. Good God. Um, off we go. Ooh. Demand the surrender of their goods. Yep, here we are. I'm trying to get away. Let's see. Let's go for a breach in piloting. Violet kitten. Welcome. Yet another resub this morning. Thank you so much. Welcome back in. Definitely need to keep dual laser in the weapons here. They're still charging the FTL, unfortunately. They don't have any healing on board their ship. So the breaches might do well enough for me here. That's one laser offline as well. That's good stuff. Let's go ahead and take the lasers offline for now. We'll try to anti-bio beam here. I'm going to breach the piloting again and then go back to dual lasers, which ideally will give us enough firepower to get through their shields and get the bio beam done. They're going to have to repair the breach, which is not going to work out very well. Swap and repair positions here. The guy in the shields might actually die to the dual laser shot. There we go. Beautiful. Get an anti bio beam shot on this guy. That's two down. Beautiful. Now we're just out of firing here. He's got the breach, so he's not going to get into that spot. Down to the shields we go. Sounds good to me. Well, this is much better, isn't it? Boy, it turns out the beginning of the run doesn't have to be completely abysmal. 
Who'd have thunk it? Crew kill, goodbye. With combat drone mark one, okay. All right, all right, all right. Now we're talking. I think the sub did make the difference. Yeah, I think all those subs made the difference, without a doubt. That's why we see ourselves in a much better position now. Okay, power that up. Why do you taunt the game like that there? It's done its worst. Has it not? Over three runs on stream for the last few days? I I would wager it's trying very hard to give us a bad time. Hail them. Ah, I can't trade. Okay, that's fine. So bring it on. Yeah, at this point, fuck it. What else you got? Listen to their offer for some Merc work. Taking to piracy in the recent chaos, we'd like you to convince them of their poor decision by severely damaging their ship. Don't kill them all. I'm not very good at that, but I'll try. That's actually my specialty, is killing them all, but if you insist. All right, so we're going to go ahead and breach shields, auto-fire weapons here. That's not a great place for them to board. Convince me to buy this with your gameplay, though. I still can't get a single win after dozens of runs. Yeah, welcome to the club. <laughs> You'll get no sympathy here, I'm afraid. That's just the experience. That's just how it be. Yeah, if I can take these offline, I ought to go ahead and get my shields back for now. Took my O2 off too, damn, it sucks. We can fight in the med bay, that's their weapons offline now at least, okay. Fire in the O2 as well, I think I might just have to let that be for a minute. He's into weapons now though. Gotta stop that from going any lower. I don't think I need to breach again. Shields are back. Let's go intercept this bad boy. Let's shut that door again. I don't think Slug versus Mantis goes my way, unfortunately. Yeah, it's looking pretty nasty. We'll redistribute the O2 here. Don't need to fix that yet. We need to get the O2 online again. Let them live and return to the settlement. All right. Fantastic. Hole Smasher Laser. Ooh. Cool. That's pretty good. I believe that's a two-shot for two power. Basically worse dual-shot laser, unfortunately. Yeah, straight up just kind of worse. Than that, but it's loot. I'll take it. I love FTL, but man, some ships are just painful to play. I'm feeling that big time. Yeah, I, it's it's pretty clear to me, honestly, that like a lot of ships are not designed to do well in the beginning. There's like there's enough to this ship where it makes sense that the weapons that you start out with are not fantastic. The the advantages roughly balance out the disadvantages there, I think. But that is that is part of the fun, is the fact that there's a, such a wild variety there, too. Like, this ship plays nothing like the Kestrel, for example. Well, it's similar, but only because they're both ships in FTL. You know, like, as, as different as they can be, essentially. Other than NGB, everything is rather playable with a bit of experience. It's, it's playable, certainly. I I would strongly argue and be surprised if you were to disagree with the idea that some ships are... I'm not even going to allow you to argue this. Objectively, some ships are better than others in the beginning of the game. That's that's just a fact. That's, that's absolutely true. Kestrel is better than this ship in the start, without a shadow of a doubt. Uh, okay, let's see. You are going to be our bio beam bar. No healing on their end, so this should be quite a bit easier. Probably want to dual laser the weapons after the breach. We'll see how that goes. Some ships are more equal than others, yeah. All right, that's the laser offline at least. That'll do. Swap off the breach to the anti-bio for a bit. Dual lasers auto-fire on the shields. 
doubting we're going to be able to keep these weapons offline with their repair speed, but let's see what we can do. Oh, that's not going to fire right yet. Uh, okay, once the laser's back, we're going to want to swap back over to there. Shields are still being repaired here. Oh, anti-bios available. Nice. Damn, that was easy. Okay. Uh, we're well, still firing there, right? Yeah, because at least... Still got to try to keep this laser or, or the ion offline, either one. And now these back to shields. We can auto fire there again. Ah, that bummer. Okay. Definitely going for the crew kill here, though. Nice. Another whole smasher laser. Jesus. Well, if I can find a shop here, we're going to be in pretty good shape. Isn't NGB the only one that gets a... Or the one that only gets a couple of drones to start? I think so. I'm pretty sure there is one like that. Which, you know, similar to the Rock Cruiser, is very limited by just, like, the amount of drone parts you have. But I think that one is a little easier to manage. Overall. Nail them. It's a pirate ambush. Shit. Probably go ahead and get one more wet level of weapon power as soon as I can. Let's go for the breach on their weapons. Yeah, I think so. I'm gonna auto fire the shields and the dual lasers here. A nominal pittance from the raving masses. Ba ba blanda! Thank you for the five gifties. Welcome to the bear pile, y'all. Some more bear hugs and bear gifts for him, please. That's a big laser. Oh shit, that fires three shots. I hate that. I don't want that to be a thing anymore. Ooh, and there go the weapons. Okay, so it's going to be Breach back online. now. it's just going to be anti-bio beam. Fuck, all right. I'm going to go back to that then. Repair that, repair that. Oh, no. Oh, boy. A pretty rough starting fight here. There's the shields offline, at least. Okay, we can take that off now. Oh, we go two down, another level of shields offline. We need the anti-bio beam powered on. We don't have the weapons repaired yet. Struggle continues. We're going to breach their weapons once more. Try not to use too many more missiles after that. There we go. Take this offline. Back to the dual lasers on the shields here. And this guy's got to go back to the pilot. Weapons are fully offline now. Bio beam should do some big work. I think they're gonna die, actually. Okay, one of them died. One of them avoided it. Clever girl. You might die to the dual laser shot, though. Very close. Let's just go ahead and load this up. Well, it's not actually. Let's make sure it's gonna work. Because it absolutely wouldn't have right there. There we go. Oh, he's not dead. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> With his dying breath, he said, We, we surrender! And then he died. Thank you for the drone. Might as well heal the full. We got a lot of shit to sell to a shop. How much is for certain? Just a matter of actually finding one, I guess. I did mention I wanted to power up weapons, but I still want to hold off on that if I can. Okay, auto fire, or auto ship powering up the FTL. I guess this is pretty good by itself, isn't it? Actually, I just realized the duel with the whole laser. Since we have three power already, this is not bad. It's going to take a lot longer to charge the whole laser, obviously, so I suppose we'll auto fire that on the engines here. Get our power in the engines ourselves through a little dodge. This is very slow, unfortunately. I'm not sure we're going to be able to get this done the way we want to, especially if they keep dodging our shots. Yikes. There's a fire on the ship, I think, as well. Yeah, it sounds like there's a fire somewhere. Hold on, we got to put this out. Let's just go ahead and choke out the whole ship. Well, if we miss every single barrage, that's obviously going to complicate things. There's their delay, at least. Oh, my lord. Please? Do I have to beg? 
No, not gonna happen. Frick me, I guess. God damn it. Alright. Struggling, man. Defend the outpost from the auto hacker. I guess we keep our lasers. Lost the shields. That scout can't have more than like 30 of A. That was kind of silly. Yeah, that can happen too, I guess. Let's save the full barrage here and maybe be able to take their weapons down a level. Thank God. Okay. Now we just auto-fire there. That could be trouble. But thankfully the... Auto-fire is often aimed at empty rooms, which is very kind of them. All right, that's their dodge chance offline, at least. I just allow their weapons to stay up since that's not doing too much to us. And before it hits the weapon system. All right, thank goodness. Eight scrap, two fuel, another 17 from the outpost. Good stuff. I'll take it. Okay. All right. Now I think since it's been so long since I've found anything that'll help us out, let's go ahead and upgrade a little bit here. Breach with two lasers is it's pretty good. Feeling a lot better here than I was before. Attack the automated ship. Absolutely. All right. We're gonna breach those weapons. We're gonna save the laser barrage after both are charged here. Oh, nearly as much experience as I expected to. All right. Oh, God damn it. Hmm. Well, just out of firing then, I guess. We have repair gel here, so I'm just going to go ahead and let that fix itself before I go in for the weapons repair. Which I don't know if I actually need that here. As long as I keep out of firing on... Well, let's do one more breach and then... All right, good enough. As long as I keep those weapons offline for them, or at least the missile launcher, we should be in pretty good shape. We can always breach again if I absolutely need to. And let's go repair this now. Let's start taking the shields offline too. I'm gonna be boosting their repair skills. A hell of a lot, that's for damn sure. This is going to take a long-ass time, but I think we're okay. And once I get the weapons back up to full, I can put the whole laser online again. It should be a lot faster. Let's do that. Yeah, it's worth, it's worth waiting around on this. Let's go ahead and heal up this guy, too. Why not? <laughs> As you wish. Now delay it as long as you want. I'm, I'm here. I'm hanging. We're just vibing right now. Doing our thing. There you go, buddy. Beautiful. Station investigation. Abandoned or stripped clean. Nothing useful. Little shucks. All right, well, definitely feel a lot better about that region one than the last one. Let's hit it. Oof. Guess we're going top. That is a, there's a lot of enemy nodes there. The rebel-controlled territory. We'll start off with a distress beacon here. Hail to offer assistance in the asteroid belt. Shield their ship with ours. What's the worst that could happen? That's certainly not it. So that's probably the best that could happen. Hell yeah. All right, finally found the store too. Nice. Let's sell some shit. Cloaking available. Got another crew member as well. Probably go for that as the priority here. Get rid of these guys. Yeah, let's grab an NG. Might want to get a Mantis too, just in case we have to deal with ship borders. I think I'm gonna go that route. And none of this is particularly appealing, so I think that's good with the fuel here as well. Yeah, we'll take that. 
Good pickup. Yeah, pick me time as well, absolutely. Let's get a couple more names drawn for the squad here. Set positions, and let's launch. Might be able to hit that store, actually. Oh, true, yeah, we already had somebody on the deck for the NG. Thank you for reminding me. Good timing to get the Mantis here, too, dude. Holy shit. I saved ourselves. Let's go ahead and send everybody into the shields as well to make this an easy fight. Yeah, we got a renamed Caveman Craig here. We got one more name to draw after that as well. And looks like we're probably gonna have to take at least one damage from this, unfortunately. Let's go ahead and have these guys repair in the med bay real quick. Oh, don't do that. Yeah, I'm gonna have to deal with one solar flare. Not a fast enough engine. Oh, I don't think it did any damage though. Let's just go ahead and vent out whatever area of the ship could just be lit on fire there. It does sound like there is a fire going somewhere. Let's wait that out. Sounds like it's put out already. Okay, then we can redistribute the O2 real fast. Good, and everybody back to posts. Oh shit, what are we doing here? Oh, O2's offline. I'm a dum dum. Okay, and she's gonna have to be kind of low. That's okay. I'll figure it out. Trade seven fuel for two drone parts. Yep, thanks. Good. Okay, let's rename our crew here real quick while we have an opportunity. Because that is Caveman Craig. And this is Captain S'mores. There we go. Get that back. Back to positions. Dare I feel optimism? I, I dare indeed. I think we're finally starting to see something work here. Let's go up there into the nebula down this way and then back to the store. Sounds about right. Forward scout powering up the FTL. All right, we're gonna breach the engines first. Save a full barrage with the dual laser. I'm gonna put the power back in the O2 or in the engines from the O2. Well, I'll do that while the, when the first missile fires, I suppose. I do need to breach their engines, don't I? Yeah, that's the biggest priority. I'll take the O2 power offline now. Still charging the FTL, so we're going to have to do one more of those. O2's offline again, fuck. Yeah, we're going to need to fix that. I think that might just be a single fire laser anyway. Okay, that's their weapons offline, hopefully. Fantastic. That's the FTL delayed as well. The breach bomb's going to hit them pretty hard there too, I think. Let's go ahead and save another laser barrage for the med bay here. That's breaching the engines as well. They are fricked. Let's go. That's fantastic. Probably save the breach at this point. Don't think I'm not, not or don't think I'm really going to need it anymore. Power back to the O2 now. Lasers are online. Let's take this med bay out. I oh, got a fire in the med bay too. That's fantastic. Okay, that means it is time for anti bio beam. So we're going to whole laser auto-fire the shields here. They're still putting out fires in the weapon system, so this is looking pretty good. I think their whole damn ship might be on fire. Oh, yeah, they're having a bad fucking time. Damage the shields now. Uh, I should go ahead and go back to the dual lasers, actually. It's going to be a lot quicker. There's another crew member killed. Oh, my God, they're just screwed. I think this is the kind of situation where if I just waited, they would probably die but I ain't that patient. There's another crew member down. We're going to auto-fire. He's probably going to go down to the shields, although I'm not sure he can actually get there without burning to death. He's got to be so low. Once this bio beam's ready, it should do the job. Beautiful. Three fuel, 25 scrap. Good stuff. Time to go nebula to slow down the pursuit a little bit. Unarmed, or sorry, not unarmed, unmanned craft. Um, breach shouldn't be necessary here. I would, I would assume, if I can just get one laser volley into the beams, they might hit us once, but I'm okay with that. Or maybe I can dodge this. Nice, that's pretty huge. Okay, so once our lasers are online, we should be good. Beautiful. All right. 
Put the auto flyer there. Save a breach missile. Good stuff. We should even... Let's put the breach over here. I can start taking that offline in favor of more engine power when I need it. Probably best to lose that first anyway. Nice. All right. And then we can do one more node here. Can actually nebula into that, into the store. That seems pretty good. Ooh, half power. Manually search the wreckage for survivors and equipment. Four damage to the hole, but a lot of loot. That's pretty good. We have repair gel to repair this breach as well. We might as well just go ahead and let that do its thing. That was probably worth it. Curious if I can just find this. I think it's right there. I think the sound is actually... Okay, never mind. I was going to say, I think the sound design is so good in this game that you can actually hear where the breach is, but that might have just been wishful thinking. If you haven't played the Captain's Edition yet, this random Twitch chatter highly recommends it. it. Expands the base game a great deal while still making it feel vanilla. I'm guessing that's a mod? Oh, you said it is a mod, right? Yeah, okay. I uh, haven't heard of it, but I might check it out. I, I am more than likely getting back into Multiverse at some point, too. That's one that I've had a little experience with and it was a pretty damn good time. I'll give that a peek, too, though. Okay, do you have anything good? Oh, fucking hell. Again? Am I doing this again? If I sell Breach and Slug Gel... Oh, or I could sell Bio Beam. Oh no, Bear! It's just that it's so good! It's such a good... Uh, God. I really want it. Sell the gel, sell the beam. Pre-ignite. Fuck it, we ball. I know what happened last time. It won't happen again. I promise. I promise it's going to work this time. <laughs> oh, God. All right. We're doing it. It's happening. It's a trap. I know it's a trap, but I fell prey to it. It got me. All right, one more note and then the exit. Overconfidence is fucking lit, as we know. All right, auto fire on their weapons here. Let's just breach their shields or... Uh, honestly, I don't think we need to breach here. It's gonna be such a strong start. They hack the doors, yes. This is fine. Space madness is a tragic thing. I mean, that, that element, I feel, honestly, is probably pretty unavoidable. Nothing I can do about the space madness. I am playing FTL. Poor doors, I know, we're so screwed. How dare you? How dore you? Hey, Matt. Your map has been updated. Well, that's not very helpful, is it? Hmm. Yeah, right. <laughs> really abandoned my morals today, apparently. Usually a lot more gung-ho about taking on the pirates, but these bribes are looking good lately. I like getting free stuff. Search for the ship. Nothing. Oh! A massive asteroid is in direct collision course with a derelict ship. You have to pull your crew out, but they want to grab what they can first. The stasis chamber is the cool thing. But I could also get a weapon, and the weapon could be really good, especially with a pre-igniter. Gotta get the cool thing. All right. Stasis pod acquired. Little tiny bit of scrap. All right, so y'all gotta help me out here. Is this just RNG? Whether or not we find 
the thing necessary to interact with this, or do we have to go to a specific region? I've never gone through the trouble of actually looking it up to try to find out myself. It's slightly RNG, you have to go to a specific region, okay. Rock home worlds. Can I look on the map and see if it's even an option right now? Guess not. Need Zoltan or Rock? I think it's a distress beacon. Okay. Okay. Keep an eye out, I guess. Hmm. NG crew ma member hails the vessel, assess the damage. Oh, this is when the NGs are fucking, right? Or achieving a union. Good stuff. I'll take it. There's a reason they added an alt unlock condition. Yeah, it's just... Oh my god, wow! <laughs> it's so incredibly unlikely, it almost never happens. There's a reason there's an alternate unlock, because no one ever gets this lucky. They're researching genetic distortion due to stasis sleep and prolonged FTL travel. They ask if your crew has the time. Do you know anything about this pod? Interesting. I've never seen a cryogenic system like this. It appears to be still functioning. It has the ability to reconstruct the body if it was damaged during transit. Watch. They reactivate the pod and you watch as the hunks of crystal inside reform to build a humanoid structure. The pod slides open and the reformed alien steps out. It speaks slowly. Greetings, I appear to be in your debt. My people isolated themselves a long time ago, but perhaps it's time to reestablish a connection. There's a hidden wormhole near the Rock Homeworlds. Perhaps you can take me there so I can properly repay you. Crystal Boy! So, crystals, if I remember right, have the ability to lock down the room they're in preventing any entrance or exit, which is which is cool as hell. We're going to go ahead and swap this dude to doors, I guess. I'm going to put you in engines since you've got the level for that already. Hell yeah, dude. Who's going to be our first crystal boy? Let's get a fresh pick me going so we can get folks that are here for sure. This is a big deal, man. I never had a crystal before. Who's it gonna be? Where's our next jump? Okay, he said Rock Homeworlds for sure, right? I, I, I think I remember right. So we gotta be on the lookout for that. His name should be Billy, Billy Crystal. That is pretty good. It's tempting. No, their name's gonna be uh, Timbo Yarns. That's a great name. Great name for our crystal. Timboya. Sweet. Rock Homeworld's a red color note. Okay, so unfortunately I think we got a few greens coming up, but we'll look out for it. You have some info we need. Are you looking for my crystal boy? He's mine. Back off. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to breach their weapons once. We do have 17 missiles after all. I shouldn't be so hesitant to use those. Ooh, damn. That went pretty well. They have a clone bay here. I doubt, a cl or I doubt a crew kill is very likely, so we'll just hold off on the auto fire here for now. Let's go ahead and breach one more time, actually. Nice. Keep those weapons out of here. Good enough. Yeah, if we just wait for full barrage. Every time we should have the W here. Gonna be a lot more offensive minded for the next few regions. Given the pre igniter. I think our uh, best defense is gonna be a good offense for a little while. Although we should keep in mind that shield upgrade is fairly cheap. Oh, I should put the power back in the engines for any situation like that, too. There we go. And one more breach here. Zoltan, dead crew, very nice. That's them in trouble. And then we keep the weapons offline. 
core fuel from the Surrender along with four missiles, basically repaying what we spent to destroy them. That's a pretty good deal. I'm happy with that. Okay. Keep it moving. Forward scout, power in the FTL, unsurprising. Let's go ahead and breach bomb that. No delay, damn. We'll do one more then. No med bay on this ship either. Powerful weapons, though. All right, there's that delayed. Nice. Let's see. That's going to hurt a little bit. Yep, okay. Lost our breach, but that's fine. Full barrage might take their laser offline. Good stuff. Nah, you can't attack after extending surrender. It just makes the... The side took away the view of the rooms in their ship, and you just see the overview of it. It's not able to actually target it at that point. Why are you not helping him? Oh, dumb dumb. Alright, that's loaded up again. Let's go ahead and go shields here. There we go. Eh, might as well do that. Still delayed. Reach bomb very tempting there, but I'm gonna try to hold off. It's always good to save your resources when you can. And the weapon should remain offline here. Fantastic. Save it again. It would be wild if you could get double rewards for making the ship explode after a surrender. Yeah, that would be pretty broken though. Very easily exploitable, unfortunately. All right, so they're still delayed, but I think that's only until their captain reaches the pilot again. So maybe just one more to be safe here. Don't want them getting away. No war crimes allowed yet. Well, some war, some war crimes allowed. Specific war crimes allowed. Just not that one. Cool. It's probably level two shields time. Let's be realistic. I'm gonna be happy I got that. Good timing, holy shit. <laughs> oh man. Good prediction there, Bear, okay. Um, Let's try to take out this missile on their end. That's their shields fully offline, oh shit, let's go. get one lucky asteroid to stop there. Oh my god, yeah, sure. <laughs> Quickest surrender of all time. Let's go. Good enough, dude. Gotta charge up that FTL now. I could probably do that. Sell three drum parts. Absolutely. I ain't doing nothing with them. Explain you're friendly to the NG. Look, we've got an NG. You guys can be friends. They always give you the goods. You can always trust the NG. Alright, alright. No teleport, no med bay, importantly, again. They've got a defense mark two, so that's unfortunate. Breach is definitely going to be a good idea here. Let's fire that first. Took that offline. Let's see if I can take the missiles offline as well. That's nice, okay. Then one breach into the shields, and then I think we'll be good to go here. Good old breach bomb, dude. That thing is killing it. All right, these lasers aren't going to be a problem, so I think it's more important, actually, for us to keep the drone offline right now. That's going to be the bigger issue, for sure. Well, that's taken out. Fantastic. What's our Mantis doing on the weapons here? It should be le leveling up really quickly. Already nearly up to level one. All right, ready to go again. Oh, the missiles are online. Shit, I didn't even notice. Let's stop that. Oh, fucking hell. That's not good. Uh, everybody help. Everybody help him. Very bad situation all of a sudden. Don't lose Crystal Boy. Apparently they don't have the same immunity as the rock people. I thought he'd be able to uh, avoid fire damage, but apparently not. 
Um, we're still taking off the drone here, I think. Powering up the FTL. Another surrender. No, thank you. I'd like to kill you guys, actually. Do, 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 do. Missiles are online again. Let's stop that from being an issue. Everybody back to positions. They need less O2 and have more HP. Okay, so they're kind of like a hybrid human rock person, which is exactly what they are, so that makes perfect sense. Now I get it. Now I understand. Hey, that's lucky. Um, Back to here, I guess. There we go. Keep those missiles offline. FTL still delayed. I think we can probably go ahead and send this guy to med bay. Maybe the shield guy too. Yeah, we're probably doing well enough here. Bye bye. Thirty scrap, pretty nice. Oh boy. Okay, let's see. I think we're still in a pretty good spot here. We don't necessarily need to be uh, upgrading anything at the moment. We could go for another power bar, I guess, so we can keep the O2 online with the max engines. Yeah, that seems right. All right, and then one more node, and we'll hit the exit here. Nearby planet, you have other places to be. All right, nothing doing. Ooh, uh, I better not sell too many. Let's just take 15. That's not a bad deal. Okay, so we're looking for rock homeworlds. Sadly, we cannot look to what these are, but we definitely want to go here after the Mantis Control. So we have a chance at finding it. Cool. Let's go down. There's a lot of nodes this way. We're cruising. Cruising along, PK. We've got a pre-igniter again here. A few more crew members this time as well. It's helping us out. Level 2 shields. Feeling a little better. Ooh, level 3 shields over there, though. Jesus. The beam drone as well. And the hacking. Yikes. Ah, oh boy. Okay. I'm going to need a breach. Need a lot of breach here, I think. Yeah, hacking could have been a bigger problem here for sure. We got fairly lucky with our decision to hack the doors. That is, there were missile launcher offline at the very least. Only two damage off that. The ion pulse coming in. Okay, that's going to give us a free shot on their weapons is probably best. There we go. That's fully offline. Go ahead and breach their shields one more time here too. And that's probably good. Oh, they have a system repair drone. Interesting. Let's keep going there. Shields are absolutely fricked on their end now. Weapons are fully offline. Oh, their drone's back, though. Shit, that's no good. Let's fix that. There we go. Nah, no surrender. Got them dead to rights. Nothing to worry about. Bye-bye. 28 scrap. That's more like it. And now I think it's probably best. We just wait this out. Let the ion pulse finish off and then we'll jump. All right, before we get that going again, good stuff. We're out of here. That beam drone was a problem, thankfully. Got away in time. 149 scrap. Definitely time to find a shop now. Prepare for battle. Breach that. Barrage that. Alrighty. That's a fight we probably win. Let's go ahead and send our slug in there to help. Did our breach miss? Or was it just not enough for the missile, I guess? Okay, there's that. Not too bad. The barrage should do this. There we go. 
preparing to make a hasty getaway. That ain't gonna happen, fella. Not this time, sorry. I don't even have anybody in the pilot right now. Ah, uh, it's because their shields are on fire. That's gonna slow things down. Good stuff. Good stuff. God, I need to shop so badly. What if I just go level three shields here? Fuck it. Super defense. Since we're not getting any shops here. Let's make sure we stay alive. Oh, I should absolutely heal my mantis as well. I didn't really think about that. Uh, level three shields actually probably handles this pretty easily. Let's see how our barrage does by itself this time. Not very well. All right, well, in that case. Oh, boy, they're going to border in the med bay. So we're going to want to take out their drones here. I'm going to go for one more shield in the breach. Or other way around. Maybe one more after that, too. That's their drone offline, I believe. Yeah, I think my level three shields have these weapons covered. I think we're good. Drones are still offline. Do, 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 do. Let's go for the shields again. Beautiful. Man, yeah, those level three shields are uh, definitely ahead of the curve right now. Six fuel, let's go. Yeah, dude. I'll take it. Nothing. All right. Off to the stress beacon. Yeah, borders in the med bay are never any fun, but thankfully managed to handle it pretty well. Ooh, nice trade. Three fuel for 45 scrap. Take half of what they just gave me off the surrender there. Intruder on deck. Ah, it's this guy again. You know, I don't need the mantis as much this time. I've already got one on board. He's probably going to damage the ship if I do this. But I want the scrap. Oh, nice. Wow, that was easy. Okay. Definitely time for the med bay now. We're back to 150 scrap all of a sudden. Oh, there's a breach in here. Jesus. Thank God we have the slug gel. Oh, wait, we don't have the slug gel anymore. Fuck, I forgot. Oh, well. We're good. Get the O2 back in a sec, and then Timbo's good to go. Captain S'more is leveling up very quickly on the weapons there. That's nice. All right, back to positions, full power. Let's do it. Yeah, that looks right, yeah. Jonathan! Welcome back. Thank you for the Bezos bucks and the bear hugs, please, for him. Welcome back for the 13 months. Much appreciated. Investigate the battlefield. Zoltan warship. Okay. We are going to breach the weapons as soon as we can here. Do a laser shot quickly to get through the overshield. I don't think they can actually get through our shields. Oh, we don't need to breach at all here. Oh shit, we have we have got these guys are absolutely fucked. Let's go. When when level three shields is just too much to bear. This is just free experience, basically. If I wanted it. It does feel slightly against the spirit of the game to cheese fights like this for experience, so I'm not going to do it. We might honestly be able to get a crew kill here. Let's see what happens. Oh, he's so weak. The breach is happening now, though. Nah, whatever. Let's take the dub. Not 32 scrap. I am just loaded right now. I need a shop badly. I would love to find some cloaking. Barrage again on the shields here. Any borders aren't going to be too big of an issue either, I don't think. And I'm pretty sure they still can't get through our shields here, so... We're flying high. Get this mantis out of my sight, damn it. Get on, get on and get gone with you now. All right, yeah, the barrage is ready. Sweet. 
True. Yeah, I guess that Ion Bomb could actually do some damage, couldn't it? Now that we're down to level one shields on their end, probably should go ahead and try to get rid of that. Oh, just kidding. Back to shields. There we go. Yeah, they got an NG on board. I mean, they keep missing with it, thankfully, so that's convenient for us, but this is going to be slow going if I decide not to breach at all. All right, yeah, I should probably power the O2 back on again. Caveman's slowly building up that shield strength. Another whiff with the bomb there. Just take it down one level. There we go. Yeah, that's probably good enough. Making it work. Yeah, thankfully the AI is very bad at using ion bombs, so it's not nearly as big of a threat as if we had it. The more I say that, the more likely it feels that they discover how to properly use it, just to spite me. Oh my goodness. Got a lot of dodge on this ship, apparently. Despite being unmanned in engines and piloting. Oh my goodness, dude. What the hell? Glad they're not trying to run away. Alright. Well, that Mantis is stuck trying to repair the weapons. Shouldn't be that big of a deal. Thankfully, that is not going to hurt us too much either. And she's farming repair XP, yeah. That'll teach me for not taking my opportunity. Alright, this should probably kill him. Good lord. Just gonna fire that for now. What if there was FTL multiplayer? That would be fun, wouldn't it? That sounds like the kind of thing someone might have already tried to mod for. Hmm. Home to a rebel checkpoint. They're stopping and searching any ship that passes through. I think we can fend for ourselves here. Let's... Oh, I didn't power up my breach here. Shit. That sucks. Okay, well, we're gonna breach that as soon as we can. Ah, oh, they got drones too. Shit. Uh-oh. They have got the answer to our problem. Or, they've got the uh, counter to our ship, rather, is what I mean to say. Not at all what I said originally. If I can breach their weapons... Their missile's still online, though. Damn, that's a nice dodge. Uh, I think it's probably most important that we barrage this. At least try to take their intruder offline for now. And breach weapons again. In an effort to take that missile offline. There we go. Still have a breach in our med bay, but that should be fine for now. Wait for the barrage again. I think we'll go for shields this time while they're trying to repair that drone. There we go. I think that's canceling the drone repair as well, so that should mean that we've got free reign here for the moment. Wait for one more barrage, and we'll take that weapon offline. Again. Actually, the weapon's okay without the missiles. Just kidding. There it is. Get rid of that. Okay. Staying on top of this. Can we take out the engines? Let's find out. Seven missiles. Jesus. Yep. Thanks. That's a good deal. Rebel Stronghold. All right. We got to go this way so we got a chance of finding the Rock Home World. So let's do it. Come on, shop. Come on, shop. Give him the fuel. Upgrade the reactor. Hey. I'll take that. Oh, my God. Thank you. Let's do one more, though, just to be very, very greedy about it. Oh, right. I forgot about the breach in the, in the med bay. That's okay. We'll figure it out. Lots of drones going on here. I don't love that. Um, oh, they got a big-ass missile online still, too. Can we take that out? Come on. Oh, my God. The breach missed. Hmm. Not great. God damn it. Mm, one more try. It's a big fucking missile, dude. Thank God. That's a huge whiff on their end. Okay. 
That's the missile launcher offline. Just normal difficulty today, Shimmer. I haven't really felt the urge to bump up to hard yet. Given how today has gone as well, I'm pretty sure I've made the right choice. But we're finally starting to get something cooking here. Thankfully. Oh boy, the shields are down, huh? That sucks. Let's take their drones out. Ah, shit. Wow, holy cow. The evasion on these ships is crazy. Is that a combat two? No, that's just a normal one. What the fuck? It's wild. All right, once we take their shields offline, it should be pretty easy going, but it's proven more difficult than I expected. Well, we're getting a lot of experience out of this, at least. More barrage and the shields ought to do it. There we go. We just auto fire that. Oh, cool. Drone got killed. Wrong one, unfortunately, but I'll take it. 40 scrap. That's fantastic to get right before the shop. Hell yeah. Hey, good to hear, Curdy Bird. I am also digging the return to this. Even less reload time. Charged laser, huh? Not quite what we're looking for with the pre-igniter, unfortunately. Well, laser 2 would be interesting, but not fantastic. We're definitely getting that. Mind control is always nice to have to counter the flagship. Yeah, we'll probably grab that as well. Mind control hacking could be a lot of fun. Yeah, reloader is probably just worth grabbing here too. Yeah, this is this is okay right now. It's not good, but it does work pretty well with what we're doing. So I think that alone might be enough to convince me to get it. Drone gives us a combat drone mark one, which would also synergize pretty well, but is a little too expensive, I think. Reverse Ion Field could honestly go pretty hard, too, but that might not be necessary. Because we're going to get one more weapon level here. And then probably... Because if we do this, we're in pretty damn good shape. And then... Yeah, I think we just go ahead and repair at this point. We'll get a reactor upgrade as soon as we can. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. Good use of the scrap there. All right. Off we go. So we get a six-shot laser barrage right out of the gate. You arrive at the beacon to find yourself in a huge rebel shipyard. The entire system looks devoted to ship construction. Ah, I think we found the rebel flagship, didn't we? Look around. Oh, yeah. It's prototype time, huh? Hell of a fight on your hands. Here we go. Oh, shit. We're going to mind control Missile Boy right away. Let's go ahead and full barrage into their lasers here. We're going to take out the O2 power for the engines once we need it. Let's see how that goes. That's a good start. Ah, they got a border, too. Okay, that's not too bad, though. It's actually a very easy situation for us to deal with right now. Wait for the full barrage again, and we'll probably just try to take their shields fully offline with this. That is one missile barrage. Ow, very, very bad. That sucks. Okay, uh, we're going to need to put out the fire up there. Let's go ahead and send our NG, I suppose, to help with that. We got to just go ahead and barrage the lasers. Or not the lasers, the... Uh, the missile launcher on their end for the next set. Their border's off, so that's nice. Slug's gonna go help repair the engines here. That barrage should not matter at all, thankfully. This should put this offline. Crew member died as well, that's fantastic. Fires out in the piloting, not too bad. All right, that worked out pretty well. We can deal with that breach in the med bay later. Uh, another laser barrage will go into the shields this time. Not too worried about their weapons at this point. Teleporting again into Med Bay, which is breached, so they're fucked. 
That works. Oh, we have mind control again, too. Nice. Let's stop them from repairing the shields here. Okay. This is looking pretty good. Another crew member killed. Uh, unfortunately, the mind controlled one, but oh well. Uh, I need to power O2 again. Oh, uh, yeah, missiles are online again. Shit, I didn't notice. We can just auto fire that for now, though. Oh, cool. We did it. Yay. Holy fuck. <laughs> Yay! Oh, that's what we were looking for. You've crippled the rebel fleet's strength considerably. Oh, baby. As you leave, you detect an interesting Federation ship signal. Apparently the rebels were reverse engineering the advanced weaponry on a prototype Federation cruiser. You don't know how they captured the ship intact, but you program its FTL drive to return the ship the nearest Federation base. You just hope it gets there unharmed. All right, dope. Let's go repair this breach. Power up the med bay. Power up the O2. There we go. No, I don't believe that unlocks a ship. Does it, does it the first time you do it? Because I'm pretty sure we've done that before. Oh, that unlocks Fed Cruiser. Okay, cool, yeah. Right on. Yeah, because we already had that one. Got the W on that recently, actually. Bear, I heard you finished Near Automata. Might sound dumb, but I'm glad you did. I'm glad I did, too. That game's great. For some reason, it just wouldn't stick for the first five years that I tried to beat it. But, uh... Yeah, this time it managed to keep me going, and I'm very glad I saw it through. Another store, you say? What if we were to dance all around here while we've got the fleet delayed? And come back and see what's in this one. That sounds like a winning approach. I'm gonna go ahead and grab one more power bar right now, too. Oh, right, we just got the burst laser, I forgot. Um, oh my god, it's two power? It's fucking insane! We're gonna be able to use all four lasers in a barrage very quickly. Good God. Yay. Okay. This is amazing. Even the half power, we're in really good shape. We don't need the mind control, obviously, so we'll get that in the O2. Hot damn, dude. How do they have four weapons? What on earth? Okay, Burst Laser 2 can fire by itself. Without a doubt. This this is a massive upgrade. Holy shit. We are in business. Alright, we're gonna have to get rely on some dodges there. That's one laser offline. We'll have to slug repair the weapons here. The engine can get in there as well. Jesus Christ. Oh shit, that's no good. I got their hacking going now too. It's gonna be on our weapons. Oh god, that sucks. Right before the whole laser fired as well. And now we got all these guys locked in here. Son of a bitch. Oh, we know we got the auto fire going still at least. One level of shields now too. Hopefully that's going to be enough. Go ahead and put that out. Okay. Trying to get through there, I guess. I think we got this though. Yeah, we're good. No worries. Yay. 36 scrap, not bad. Somehow I've taken a heaping amount of damage here. Get these guys fixed up. Get the all two in the med bay again. Get the breach fixed. Get you back to post, you back to post. Into the med bay. There we go. Auto fire sounds like a bad idea. Why not just no fire? I'll give you a plus two. That would be ideal, wouldn't it? Oh, this sucks. I was going to say, thank goodness we didn't have to uh, deal with another bit of combat right there right away. 
Would have been wildly unprepared for it. Now we're ready. One merchant seems to be mass broadcasting a request for a merc ship to aid him. A freighter carrying a shipment of my goods is a week late. Let's investigate. That's very far away. Sorry, buddy. That ain't happening. We're just going to go ahead and ignore that one. Shop time. Halberd beam. Ooh. First two plus dual lasers plus halberd beam with pre-igniter equals holy shit. Oh, chain laser. Oh my god, that's even better. But halberd is... Oh god, wow. Okay, so we do not need this anymore, for sure. Get rid of that. Oh god, it's very tough to choose between halberd and the chain laser. Especially if we buy another automated reloader. That would just be so fast. I'm pretty sure we can sell Breach now. Hmm. Halberd can't be dodged. That's very true. That might actually... You just I think you just put me over the edge there. And yeah, I'm pretty sure we can sell this now as well. We'll keep Breach for the moment. Buy Halberd. Fix up a little bit. Oh, shit. Wait. Okay, good. Yeah, I was going to say I don't want to miss the opportunity to buy that. Holy cow. This is really good. Okay, so we're looking to get a level of weapons as quickly as we can here so that we can get the double laser barrage with the halberd beam. For now, we'll leave breach on auto. Or not on auto, on a load so we can pre-ignite it. I might actually be able to bounce over here. It's The unfortunate bit of this is that we cannot connect to the exit from this node. But if we go like that, that that into the nebula might slow them down enough. We're going to go this way anyway, so we'll see what happens. Fight time. I think we breach first on this one. We go ahead and mind control their pilot as well. Breach shields. And then see what the barrage looks like at that point. Pretty good, pretty good. I think we auto fire burst laser there now. Wait on the dual lasers until after they're a little more vulnerable. There we go. Big laser offline, fantastic. I might as well keep using these breaches, I guess. There's a good chance that we don't end up keeping this forever. So let's use the missiles while we got them, I guess. Get these guys on auto fire now. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, Neo. Okay. That yeah, works. Three missiles. No, we can do better. We can do better than that. There we go. 49 scrap. That's going to get us the weapon level. Oh, just kidding. Not yet. Almost, though. Ah, I don't think it's going to happen, dude. It's too far. Let's see. If I go there, it's going to jump to covering this. And then I go there, it's jumping and covering about to there. So I'd be able to get to here, but then this one would more than likely be covered up. So I'd have to escape one node. Maybe that's worth it. I think I would do that if we had engines at three or higher. So we would know we can escape. Yeah, we've got a bigger fish to fry here, too, with the Rock Homeworlds. I think you're right. I think we prioritize that instead. Let's do go here anyway, because we're going to go like this, that, and there, and on our way out. Regardless. Let's take a look at how it looks. Maybe I can booby trap a cache or something here. That'd be huge. Oh, never mind. All right. Well, clearly not going to do it if these guys manage to do their thing here. We'll go ahead and get those through the shields and then try to take their weapons offline. Piloting hacked. Okay, so we definitely need to keep their missile launcher offline here. Breaching shields again. Breaching shields again. Oh, they got an overcharger. Fuck. Damn, that sucks. 
shields down again. Man, our lasers are charging ridiculously quick now. That is amazing. I think that was their defense drone offline or something. Really got to breach these weapons here. Ah, damn it. Okay. Ah, this overcharger drone is annoying. There we go. Missiles offline again. Nice. Let's breach that one more time. While we can. That's good. Have a good day. Oh, mind control. Nice. Oh, yeah, in our barrage. That is, that is charging so much quicker than I expected to. Is S'mores? Oh, S'mores is fully leveled. That's why. Dude. Oh, I didn't... Oh, no. Bear. You let him jump. Okay, they're, they're distracted and piloting for now, though. If I barrage and then breach the piloting, that should do it. Let's just go ahead and barrage that as well. Fuck off. God damn it. Well, that ruined it. Okay. I'm probably covered up on the node now, unfortunately. Oh, that boned me, dude. Fucking hell. That's really bad. Okay, we're gonna have to... Yikes. This sucks. That was a, that was a big mistake on my part. We gotta take their weapons offline again. We got two sets of borders here. That's unfortunate. I think I just have to go ahead and fight this guy in the med bay. We don't want to do that one when we uh, have the ad heavy advantage there, I guess. Oh, he's in there too now. Fuck. Oh my god, how many borders do they have? What is this? Jesus, dude. Let me fight that. Oh, I have my thing online, damn it. I am throwing right now. I am... Really not paying enough attention. All right, their weapons are fully offline. We're winning this combat pretty handily, in fact. Let's go ahead and breach the shields once more. That'll do. Big barrage coming in on that again. There we go. Okay, now we can just auto fire. That'll do. And heal up, y'all. Yeah, I got the stasis pot event. We also immediately after that found somebody to crack it open, which is pretty sick. Very fortunate turn of events there. Just heading for the rock homeworlds now, yeah, if we get lucky with that. Oh, goodness. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and level engines twice here to be able to more quickly escape should we need to from this situation. God, it would be so much better if this connected to the exit, but no luck. And yeah, bad timing here. Okay. God damn it. Look at those weapons. Jesus Christ. Horrifying. Full power in the engines now, at least. We got borders too in the piloting. God damn it. Oh, boy. Okay. Reaching on the weapons here. Flax offline, at least. That's pretty big. And that's why we leveled up the piloting here, not the piloting the engine, so we could get out of this situation more quickly. It's clearly not something we want to deal with right now. Thankfully, the ship itself isn't too big of an issue. It's the ASB that I'm more concerned about. Sound like we can't charge enough to get away from that quickly. Their weapons are pretty much offline, though, so that's nice. Reach for three damage. Jesus Christ. Go, NG. Go, NG. Go. Probably going to end up killing these guys. Not that it really matters too much. Yeah, I shouldn't even really bother. I don't think it's worth it for one fuel to try to stick around for this. Let's just get out of here. Good God. Okay. Fend for yourself. I suppose we'll have to. We really quickly used all these breach bombs, dude. Jesus. Um, let's do this. Their weapons aren't as strong. Okay, 
go for the barrage again there. See where they teleport. That works for me. I'll take it. I know. I, I want to see the Halberd Dream at least for one fight here. Just got to survive long enough. Okay. Save a few bombs for now. Very quickly burning through the supply there. Ooh, that was two crew killed. Oh, shit. I just make that happen again? He is burning to death in there, I know. I think he's gonna die. No surrender. Just wreck his day. There we go. 50 scrap. Crew kill. Good stuff. One scrap from the halberd. God damn it. Rock home worlds. Let's go. Bear luck, bear luck, bear luck. Hell yeah. There's the quest. Holy shit. Go right for it. Search for the ship, sure. 65 scrap, here we go, Halberd, G Halberd Dream. Oh, baby. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. An ancient device is orbiting within the crystal rings of a nearby gas giant. You can't discern its nature or function, but it seems to have been deactivated for a very long time. Perhaps you can get some scrap from it. Reactivate it. Your crystalline companion says, it looks like we found the abandoned link to the crystal homeworlds. I can reactivate it. He transmits some codes to the, de 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 device and immediately powers on. Let's go, baby. Off to the crystal homeworlds, my home sector. Strange crystalline shot ships dot the horizon. It's been a long time since others have set foot here. I wonder how you will be received. You've done as you promised and so shall I. The coordinates of my old ship have been forwarded to your navigation system. Let's fucking go, dude. Sadly, I'm out of fuel. Hopefully we can find a shop here, although I kind of doubt it. Oh, you're that alien that opened up the portal, aren't you? Are you busy? Can I ask you a question? Have your crew speak to him. You're one of us. I didn't know we made an alliance with the aliens. I guess I won't bother you, but have six fuel. Thanks. Jeez. Streamer luck. Let's go. That's incredible. I'll take another power bar, I guess. Yeah, fuck it. Okay. Let's, let's wander around the region a little bit. See what's going on out here. Oh, we're attacking the rebel, dude. Why in the world would I attack the crystalline ship? Of course not. Alright, this is going to be fun. Very excited to see how this goes with the halberd here. Oh, especially in this particular fight. Oh, boy, they are fucked. They are fucked. Sorry, fellas. Bad time to fight me. God. Look at the destruction instantly. Five systems offline and a mind-controlled pilot. They're dead. They're just dead as hell. Goodbye. You pick up the bones of their ship. The crystalline ship messages you. You're the one that opened our sector to the outside, aren't you, bastards? My home was just overrun by your rebels. Just leave us in peace. Honestly, fair. I'm, I'm, I'm way out of line right now. I completely agree. Boy, this is just fantastic, dude. Oh, my God. Look at this. Look at, Just look visually. This is stunning. A setup like this. Double reloader with a pre-igniter. And these kind of weapons. Unreal. Ooh, a store, too. Holy shit. Must be hot on your tail. All right, we're doing the same thing here. Barrage into the shields before we halberd. And cut off their entire network of systems. With another three fuel for a surrender? Nah. I got a shop coming up. We're good. Who needs it? Bye-bye. Give me that 43 scrap. That's more like it. Thank you. All right. What do you got for me? Some cloaking, maybe? More crystal boys. With additional crew damage. Ooh. That's fun. 
We do need fuel still. Hmm. I like drone control. That'd be fun. Oh, these shops can sell crystal weapons? Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I'm thinking about maybe doing a boarding crew, but eh, I don't think so. Not this time. We're all about our ship's offensive capabilities here, I think. Drone control also feels like not super great. I think I'm going to get hacking here. We're going to get the fuel from this shop, fix to green, and then get another power bar so we can use this. That feels right. That feels pretty good. A large crystalline ship is floating in space here. Aliens, how curious. We request your aid. We have men buried on a nearby planet. We must dig them out. I guess. Ugh. You do as you're asked and send a crew member down to the planet to assist. They discover a massive crystal excavation operation, and it quickly becomes clear this is a task that will take days, not hours. Huh. Okay. I'm very worried that the rebel pursuit will catch up as a result of this. But let's wait. Wait feels like the best option. You've made your commitment and that still means something. You wait one jump cycle and then inquire with a crystalline captain about the status of the operation. The operation will take one more cycle. Okay. Another cycle passes while the rebel fleet draws ever nearer. You can't, I, your knowledge of our customs is most impressive. Your crew member is on their way back now along with a heavy crystal mark too. What? What? What does that do? Modify a projectile weapon that fires a shield-piercing large crystal for four damage. Jesus Christ. Oh, boy. So we do that right now, is my assumption. Oh, my God. Also bypasses a level of shield. Yeah, Jesus Christ, dude. Look at that big sucker. Hot damn. All right. Civvy settlement. I'll rely heavily on an intriguing crystalline material. Cool. Yeah, I think Halbert's probably better, but this is more fun. Sadly, the pursuit is scary. But there we go! We got it! Crystal ship unlocked, dude. Wow! What an awesome result today. I'm very glad we saw that through. Massive crystalline cruiser docked at a small repair station. You arrange for the ship to be sent back to the Federation base while the station upgrades are whole. The brevace has been unlocked. Let's go. Hell yeah. Okay, we cannot have this anymore. Every time your ship takes damage, there's a 10% chance to break off a shard that flies at your enemy. Nah, we're good. That's cool, but... We're fully loaded on augments already. Alright, we gotta get the hell out of here. I guess I could go to that store. But I'm more interested in see when the, seeing what the other nodes do. Let me go here. Ah, you're those aliens. Please, I've heard so much about you, and I'm really curious about your physiology. Would you let us run a few simple tests? I don't want to, but I'm too curious not to. Ah, cool. Gingerly help them into a scanning chamber. After a few seconds, they inform you they've mapped their entire genome and have everything they need. That seems kind of bad. <laughs> but <laughs> glad we got some reward out of it. Hello, aliens. I hope I'd run into one of you. I'm a collector of alien artifacts and hope you'd have some equipment to barter. I do indeed. You got a heavy crystal that only needs one power. Oh, shit. Is that just the better dual lasers? It is, isn't it? Absolutely it is. And then Crystal Burst Mark 1. Okay, so we're selling this beam drone for sure. Backup battery could be pretty good. Yeah, this is also a shield piercing again. So this is absolutely we're, something we're buying. And then we swap that out right away. Sell the dual lasers. 
right? Yeah. And then... Hmm. I'm pretty sure we can just rock these three now. And then ideally what we'll do is have Halberd Burst Laser Crystal 2 is our final kit, which means I think it's time to get rid of this. Yeah, I think it's going to be for the eight power for our ship to take the most advantage of the pre-igniter. It'll be heavy crystal two, burst laser two, and then halberd beam. Which we're closing in on actually being able to just get that going now. Let's get some fuel too, just to be safe. Okay, holy shit. This is awesome. Yeah, I am thinking backup battery is probably not a bad idea here either. That's always a good investment. Yeah, we'll just do that now. And then... We need 190 scrap to enable a halberd here. So we'll just save this for now. What a sector, dude. Holy shit. Might as well. Yep, yeah, alright. Fair enough. Can't all be good. Here, go help him out. Nobody die. Nobody die, please. That was a persistent fire, dude. Jesus. There you go. Get this done a little quicker, hopefully. And you probably don't need to stay. You probably don't need to stay. There we go. Oh, you're over here, actually. That's right. And then you need to heal. Everybody back to posts. Looking pretty good. Yo, Pope John Wick. Our f uh, former crew member. Mr. Wick, welcome back to the pile. Thank you for the bear hugs for him. Appreciate the resub. Uh, Three months, thank you very welcome. much. Welcome back in. Right, okay, so I believe we're going back to Rock Homeworlds now is my assumption? Maybe not. Ah, oh, this is just a brand new sector. Okay, so we're in the Sector 7 now. Cool. Let's do it. I want to keep all my power, so I'm not going to go in the Nebula. Well, eh, it's probably worth it. God, I knew it was going to happen. Manually search the wreckage. Four damage to the hole, five fuel, 30 scrap. Not terrible. Breach and hacking, I'm guessing. No. Where's that breach at? Med bay? O2? There it is. No problem. Oh, true. Yeah, we do have the backup battery. Definitely power those on before we get out of here. Probably in my best interest to hit this store, too. Oh, that's not going to carry over, right? Shit. Oh, no. God damn it. Okay, that sucks. Let's see. Let's get all this sorted out. We'll hack their shields once I have a full barrage. And get power in the engines, I guess, is good enough. Obviously, don't need the med bay here. Defenses are still probably going to hold up well enough here. Send a hack over to their shields. Full barrage on the weapons. Actually, let's full barrage the shields here. Make things a little easier for us. That didn't go very well, shit. I do think our defenses are, sus are substantial enough, though. Because they've only got the two shots from each of these, and then just the one combat drone. I think we got it. Nice. Miss Halberd Beam. Yeah, me too, kind of. 
I might have to swap back to that. I think it is just much better at this point. Okay, there we go. That'll probably do it. Man, the the reloaders combined with the pre-igniter. Even in a situation where we weren't fully loaded. Just so well off with this build right now. Back one more time just to make sure and then target the engines just to get out of here. There we go. I want to see the effect of us getting into a fight fully prepared, though, before we switch back to the halberd beam. Cloaking. Oh, yeah. I think it's time. I think that's the right final system. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Hot damn. Hot damn. Attempt to follow them. Nothing. All right. Might have wanted to buy some fuel there, too, but I should be okay. Attempt to cloak and access the cache. Successfully approach the station while avoid detection. Either abandoned or stripped clean. Nothing. I feel like I would have gotten something if I had fought this ship. That's unfortunate. Oh, well. Fire your initial shots. Cloak fire the enti entire second salvo. Yep, that should work pretty well. We're just finding empty note after empty note now that we're properly prepared. Yeah, now we, now we fight. Oh, you bastards. Okay, so we are going to cloak their missiles here. Once we power that on. Bit of a counter to our pre-ignite. Oh. <laughs> I was like, why is this taking forever? Oh, the game's paused. That would be why. Very long cloak. Okay, we just need to probably full barrage that. And hack the weapons as well, just in case. Just to be safe here. Don't want them damn missiles firing. One more big barrage. That'll do. Nice. All right. Yeah, I think I've become pretty convinced at this point that the halberd's the way to go, so we're going to swap back to that in a bit. Just a much better option for us right now. Which I suppose means we don't need Crystal 1 anymore, right? At this point... But the two cycles, I mean, I mean, look at how many shots we're missing on these auto shots or auto scouts. Oh, that's a good point, actually. I could just have the halberd in that slot and I can swap back and forth. Ooh, asshole. Jesus Christ, dude. I'm gonna hit their engines. Come on. Just cooperate a little. There we go, Jesus. Hopefully that's enough. Right back at you. All right, cheers, brother. Cloak for cloak. One more. One more barrage. Should do it. Good stuff. You salvage what you can and approach the station. It's used to relay information to the fleet. You could hack it to give the rebels false information. Cool. Fleet delayed. All right. That's awesome. And info about the region. Wow. And let's not go to the Pulsar. Cool. I'm curious what this has. Let's go find out. Oh, I forgot to swap the halberd on there too. Whoops. 
Scanners are showing intelligent life forms on a planet. Investigate. Attempt to communicate telepathically. The crew tells you these are simple beings who enjoy a peaceful life. This isn't the first time a ship has landed here. They inform you of a nearby crash site. And find Ferris. Hello, Ferris. AKA Pick Me. A brand new one if you want to be chosen here for our newest crew member. Let's go. You're going to go to Backup Battery. No, let's have you in Cloaking, actually. That seems like a good place for you to hang out. Okay, now let's swap our ship systems again. I'll have this here. Go in this order, I think. And then we go bam, bam, bam. Oh, no, this makes more sense. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Okay. What a diverse, humanless crew you have. Yeah, it's pretty fun, isn't it? The Midwest Marvel. Legendary crew member. Welcome to the team. Right, okay. How greedy do I feel here? I definitely want to hit that distress beacon. Uh, renewal. Welcome so I think back. we'll go boom, boom, boom there and then to the exit. That sounds about right. Ah, thralls. Thank you for the prime, the 22 months. Welcome back in. Bear hugs, please, for him. Appreciate the Bezos bucks. I'm gonna counter that mind control. Probably not worry about the hacking this time, although I guess I could just back up battery and do it. We have a lot of drone parts after all. We'll get their weapons just in case, and then we're gonna go ahead and hit this. Why? Why gotta be like that? Very rude. Well, that sucks. Looking for another barrage here. Do this now. Oh my god, dude. The dodge on these auto, auto well, surveyors is the bear pile. really brutal. Popolitos! Three months in advance. Thank you very much, Pobolitos, for the subscription. Please give him some bear hugs for that big time support. Really appreciate that. Okay, go again. I literally just need you to hit two shield levels, please. That's all. That's all I want. Ah, oh, God. Kind of goofing this up. Not helping with the damn dodge they got going on, though. Can I hack before they fire? Come on. Nice. Great timing on that. Okay. Oh, the hacking went offline. Oh, the backup battery ran out. Damn it. Didn't notice. Alright, we'll have to get lucky on a 40%, I guess, here. Send the barrage again. Albert's almost ready. Dodge the missile. That's awesome. Take their fucking dodge chance offline, thankfully. And there we go. That'll do. 54 scrap, hell yeah. Appreciate that subscription. Thank you for the support today, y'all. Thanks for hanging for some more FTL. It's been a good run today, man. Good session. Okay, let's see. Let me think about this. What is... There's still... I think we've just been getting pretty unlucky with the dodges from the auto ships. I'm pretty sure our offense is sorted. I think it might be time to think about level 4 shields here. And then eventually we're going to want to upgrade our cloaking. Well, actually, thinking about it, if we upgrade the cloaking now, we'd be able to back up battery into a full cloak. That'd be pretty good. Obviously, that's going to be a lot more expensive. Level 2 hacking does solve shields. You're not wrong. I feel like defense is okay right now, as is offense, but the bigger priority is going to be the defense sooner. So let's go ahead and do this so that we have the full power of the cloak if we need it. And then we'll look to hacking for our next big upgrade. This does not connect to anything but the exit. Okay, so thinking again, if I go here, this will be to about this area. And then we'll go back to there. 
and then they'll be already over to here. So yeah, I think I need to go ahead and go with this distress beacon now. Nothing. Okay. Yeah, better do it. Give them the fuel. I'm pretty low myself, but we're nearly the, at the end here, so I think I can probably afford it. Reactor upgrade? Sector scans? Fucking... Gah! Jerk. Attack the rebels. We can take them. Mind control. And we'll back up battery for the cloak when we need it. Let's go shield barrage into halberd beam. That's more like it. That's the kind of thing we need to see. We'll go ahead and go this direction with it this time. <laughs> Boy, that is awesome. Justin! Justin Raiders, welcome everybody. We're playing some FTL. I just unlocked the crystal ship. I got my first crystal boy on board, so I'm digging that. Good to have y'all. Okay, that obviously went quite well. Um, I really don't think I need to hack this, even though I guess we don't necessarily need to conserve drone parts here either. Their missile's still online. We'll cloak that once we need to. Yeah, this run is going crazy. We got a pre-igniter with a double reloader. With the kind of kit that you can only pray to get with a preloader. Or pre-igniter, I mean. Barrage is almost ready for the halberd again. We'll go ahead and do this. Timing should work out there. Oh, they're dead. Well, that works. Cool. And steal the civilian supplies, obviously. Fuck them. All right, we made it. Off to the last stand. Let's go. Can we get a bear hero if you believe in the W? I sure fucking do. That's the fuel sorted out. Go ahead and level up the hacking here as well. One more power bar, too. Why not? Ooh, free repair node. Nice. Might be able to get all three repair nodes. Dude, that would be huge. That would be massive. We did not fight a war to let a single Federation ship shatter our dreams of a better galaxy. I got bad news for you, bud. That's about what's going to happen here. Halberd time. Halberd time, baby. Krakatoa! Powering up the FTL, eh? Hmm. I think we got plenty of drone parts now. Let's, let's not. Let's not power up the FTL. How about that? Oh, they got the anti-combat, though. Okay. Oh, they got a border drone too. Oh shit, that sucks. Here, you go. You go help with that. See if you can do something about it. I'll wait on the burst a little bit here. We have cloaking, although it doesn't really matter at this point. I don't need to use the backup battery here. Yeah, we're like holding back. This isn't even our full power. <laughs> Nope. Sorry, bud. Should have thought of that before you sent a boarding drone. There we go. Uh, sounds like we have a breach, but they're fixing it. NG's going to not be fast enough to get there. We're good. Let's go ahead and send these guys to the med bay. Sweet. Okay, now... I think I'll level up hacking and then get the backup battery back to, or up to full strength. And that way I can put two bars in cloaking and hacking if we need it. That's pretty awesome. Another repair node. Beautiful. Yet another repair node. Absolutely incredible. Let's go to a couple of other nodes before we get to the base. Fight the rebel ship. Absolutely. Mind control. Uh, burst on the shields. Go halberd beam. Through the weapons into the O2. Fantastic. Might as well hack. Backup battery power for both. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. No weapons for you today. Yeah, this is just 
perfectly demonstrating how completely ridiculous our ship is right now. This is nuts. Tried to repair some damage, didn't have any damage to repair. Got a border left over. I didn't even notice they had someone on our ship. I was completely ignorant to that. That should be easy enough. Lovely. Okay. Jump into base now. What is our last priority here? I'd say we're doing okay on power here. Mind control isn't going to be all that important. Level 4 shields are possible still, but I think engines is probably where it's at at this point. At least one level of that for sure. And then let's do this as well to be safe. Give us a little cushion on the piloting. Shield buffer point's actually not a bad idea. Uh, I can't afford it though. I guess one more power bar is probably not a bad idea. Yeah, we'll do that. O2 cushion's not a terrible call either. Oh, true, I can undo, right, yeah. Hmm. Maybe shield cushion with power. Well, the thing is that we don't really need a cushion too badly. We have a wandering NG at the moment. And if I, in fact, if I put him in shields. Yeah, I mean, depending on their hacking, I guess that might be problematic, but there isn't actually a way they can hack us that prevents us from accessing every region of this ship. I suppose they could hack doors to stop us from getting to mind control, but that wouldn't really matter in the first fight anyway. Yeah, I don't think we need the buffer too badly. We're going to be able to repair really quick. So, I suppose then we're still doing this, and that, and the cushion there. That feels good. That feels right. And then we might as well take the O2 cushion too, I guess, but we might be able to afford something a little better after this fight. Okay. That feels pretty good. Backup batteries ready to power these guys up. Let's do it. A few more bear heroes in chat, please. You know, honestly, it's probably worth it for me to take this node before we go to the base. It doesn't hurt us. And I don't think I ever get a lot of rewards out of the base either. Let's take this fight real quick. Free loot, yeah, might as well. Should be a pretty easy victory. A Vulcan, oh my god. That's pretty intense. Okay, back of battery time. They're gonna teleport into our doors, which isn't ideal. I guess we'll go, go ahead and just let them do that for a bit. Halberd's ready to go. Take their clone bay offline for fun. Power to these guys. Hacking weapons. Okay, okay. Once it gets in there, we should be ready to go. Land the barrage again. Albert's ready. O2 taken out. They're just dead. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, dude. 55 scraps. 73. What the fuck, dude? Holy shit. Double reward event. Definitely glad we went this way. Just have all of the scrap. Okay. Well, I guess we'll get the shield buffer right. And then might be able to get level 4 shields. Jesus. Okay. Cool. That'll work. Let's go to the base. I could take another fight, though. <laughs> I might as well. <laughs> yeah, let's get the O2 cushion as well, sure. And if we find 40 scrap here... This is wild. This is very fun. They got a very similar build going on over there. Actually, just a lot worse, isn't it? Sheesh. I don't think I even need a hack here. It's fully unnecessary. 
Again, I might as well, but I don't even need to. Let's hack the med bay for fun. Just as a goof. Damn border again. War crimes, yeah, hooray. Um, yep, yeah, off we go. Albert's ready. See you later. Jesus Christ, dude. 69 scrap, nice. And that's gonna be level four shields. Pretty easily. Just knock him out real quick. Over to Med Bay, back to Shields with you. Let's fucking go, dude. Can't quite afford the power bar, that's alright though. Backup battery's got us covered anyway. You're gonna stay down here, pal. That's that's where you're gonna hang out. Outstanding. Holy shit. Okay. Now it's finally time. Let's go. Pause the game. Mind control, I believe, is going to start on the pilot since we're going to barrage the missiles right away. Let's do a hack on their shields before we do that, question mark? Where's the halberd being cut through? What if I just do this? That seems decent. I'm just barraging the shields. I think we hack shields no matter what. I think that makes sense. So we're sending the barrage there, and then we're halberding through the missiles, I guess? We're gonna be able to cloak through a barrage of those no matter what. Oh, right, I forgot, God damn it. I forgot the cloak. That's okay, we're gonna recharge before they even realize what happened. Hacking weapons too, yikes, that kinda sucks. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Okay, they are gonna get hacked now. Power into these guys. Charging the weapons back up. Just want to hold off on that for now. The ha oh, shit, the hack is actually kind of fucking them over right there, too. That's awesome. So let's do that now. And then by the time it's done, we should have our barrage. Let's go ahead and cloak this. Halberd's almost ready. You might just fire that right away. This barrage out there as soon as it's ready. Wait for the level four shields to be all the way down. There we go. And then start with you and cut all the way up there. That went pretty good. Okay. Didn't quite take out the missiles, so let's refocus that with the barrage real quickly. He just fucking died, basically, yeah. Kind of what that felt like. Just almost one shot the flagship is all. Mind control, ha ha. No shield repairs for you. Cloaking almost back as well. Let's go ahead and hack the shields again, I guess. Good to go. Backup batteries on cooldown. Oh shit, found a cloak. Can take O2 offline for a minute. Ooh, they got one. Damn, that sucks. There's that offline. Nice. Albert can cut through again. I think I might as well go ahead and load that up, actually. Ah, oh, it's goddamn fire. Let's see if you can get over there to help real quick. You know what? You go help, too. Oh, you can't, right? Yeah, it's only two rooms. 
They're on bare optimal over there, Jesus. Okay, backup battery's back now. Wait for that to be full power. I think there's a fire in the med bay too, unfortunately. I got our weapons hacked as well. They, they're staying alive somehow. Okay, you two head over here. Wait for the fire to go out real quick. There we go, redistribute. O2 is still offline. Let's go ahead and mind control in there. Single remaining burst ought to do it. Power out of hacking at this point. The power back in the O2. Get the med bay back online. There we go. Cool. Keep up the assault. Power the med bay. Back to positions. Pretty damn good start. So now, probably want to just go ahead and grab another power bar, I'd say. Seems to be the most important thing at the moment. There we go. Looking good. Let's keep it going. Game apologizing for the first run. Yeah, it kind of feels like that, doesn't it? Okay, let's see here. Probably a very similar situation. I think we go ahead and hack the shields again, so don't have to worry about the cloak here. Obviously, the drones are a big factor at this point. I'm gonna mind control their pilot one more time. I might actually want to mind control the shields. Eh, it's basically the same, I think. Um, let me think. We're gonna wait for the backup battery until the hacking is landed. We're gonna go ahead and barrage now to Halberd as quickly as possible. Okay. It's not bad. Missile's weakened. With how quickly this goes, I think I should go ahead and power it up now. Go like this. Get this online. Okay. Uh, then we're going in there with any shot that got loaded up. It sounds like there's a border. We should probably halberd through the drone control. Actually, I might want to send this barrage at their drones. Just so we don't have to deal with their border. And then we can cloak through a missile barrage if we need it. It's looking pretty good. That's their drones almost fully offline there. Holy shit. Uh, send another set of those. Halberd should be charged before they can ch charge up the missiles again. Let's go ahead and send that up there. Huge. Awesome. Okay. No worries about that barrage. Crystal gets through in the drones again. We have a cloak ready to go for this. Backup battery should last through it. Okay. I think we are bursting the med bay, or not the med bay, the shields again here. Let's hold off until we got both of those ready to go, and then we'll halberd again. Cloaking through our drone phase here. Halberd's ready. Missiles are offline. Take this guy out. Get the cloak up. Keep the bursts on the shields now. Another crew member down. Halberd probably just safe to fire away here. Oh, did they take our hacking out? No, it's still there. Okay. We'll just wait for the hacking then. Oh, we have mind control too, nice. Phase two finished. Hell yeah. Even cleaner than the first phase. Let's go. Okay, so we gotta fix the med bay now. Let's go ahead and bring our slug boy over for that. And he might as well help too. Power to the med bay and stuff. This is pretty good.
One more power bar. Perfect. So now we got full engines and the backup battery powers the cloak and the hacking. Beautiful. What torch is this? Bastard's beacon. We're about to take it down. One last set of bear heroes. Let's do this. This is it. This is it. Let them have it. Okay, they have mind control. We counter. They're boarding. We have doors upgraded. We're firing our barrage to lower their overshield. Halberd does do overshield damage, I'm pretty sure. So we'll go ahead and let that work as well. Go for that. We got a border right there, which is definitely not where I'd like to see him. But I guess if he goes in the med bay, we should be fine. Hacking will go once we have the overshield cleared. I think they're probably going to send another crew over once their teleporter's online again. There's the overshield gun. Let's go for the hack on the shields again. Trying to take this missile launcher offline, but we'll have the cloak for it once we need it. There it is. All right, we're hacking the shields here. Once we have the full barrage, we should be able to take the missiles close to offline. Triple dodge, beautiful. Okay, we're fighting in the med bay. Let's send the slug and the NG up there. Take off O2 for a minute. So we can power that up. Wait just a second on the shields here, and then I think I'm gonna go ahead and send Crystal into the missile launcher and then the burst laser to the shields along with the halberd beam. That should clear the missile out of the way. Nice. Mind control is ready again. Their mind control is offline for now, but I might want to save this. Oh, they're doing it to me. Okay, there we go. Wait, what? My mind control targeted their guy instead of countering the mind control in my NG. That's hilarious. Well, thankfully, they're fighting in the med bay, so that basically solves that problem. Uh, full barrage goes to shields again. That didn't even matter. <laughs> oh my god. When the power surge does nothing at all. Alright, we're fighting in med bay. Let's go ahead and send the mantis over here as well. Do a little 3v3 action. Alright, here's the barrage one more time. He's trying desperately to escape. Albert Beam. Carving through the shields and the teleporter. You ain't getting out of here, fellas. Sorry. This is your final resting place, I'm afraid. O2's online. Cloak's ready. Don't even need it. G fucking G. Bravo, squad. Bravo. The Sanusuke does end up uh, victorious by the end of the day. What a run. Holy shit. That was phenomenal. That was uh, that was domination. This all this has done is reaffirm for me the idea that you should always go pre igniter. <laughs> like there's there's never a bad situation to go pre igniter, even if you gotta sell everything else. That was that was the difference maker for sure. Yeah, that was our final uh, layout A victory, and also unlocked. The Crystal Ship. It's our second best Slug A performance, which is not a hard bar to meet given my ineffectiveness with that ship so far. General progression, we got the uh, Type A layout for every playable ship, nice. I'm just taking a look at the hangar here. You can see now, Crystal Cruiser Type A. Powered by the secret technology of the crystalline beings. That'll be a lot of fun for next time. For now, thanks for watching. If you're watching over on youtube.com slash beartaffy, please leave a like on the video. It does help quite a bit. It lets me know you're looking for more FTL content, which I'm pretty excited to continue to provide. This is a great ship. Yeah, holy shit. Four crew members. A couple of crystal weapons out of the gate. This is going to be a lot of fun. Looking forward to that. I'll see you in the next one.